Hello, my name is Sabina and I did my scenario project on all about lit myths and legends. The reason why I did this was because I ha um, I saw so many videos and so many movies and stories based off and they use a bunch of um, mythology and I've just the stories and from our history classes and trade me and I just really wanted to see about this. Um, so I guess I started off with how did the myth start? I wanted to know that since I feel like that the start of the mist would lead me to like wh where I should start with my scenario project. Um, well, mist started from there. There's several options. Mist started from misconceptions is one of them. Um, there's a sailor who was going through the ocean. They found narwhals, which were not yet discovered because I guess he was really up north. Um, and he, the horn, uh, he associated it with something magical like a unicorn. So he described it as a mermaid. Um, another, talking about unicorns, he, there was an extinct species of rhinos, and whenever they were discovered, they just they thought it was something really magical since, and they named it the unicorn. Um, and also, it probably it died out because I was a very picky eater, so that might have also been a reason why. The, since it was really rare. To find it the so yeah though these are not backed up because there's a lot of origins uh, where these types of creatures popped up that are not exactly like what we imagine but that are led to the modern day unicorn um anyways religion is another way that myth starts the famous how creation myth that is originally originated in the middle east like from the ancient egyptians and the um, Mesopotamians and the simile, they all have something to do with water, as that's what's created the world and that can destroy the world. Also, like, Noah's Ark in the Christian myths, and Christian stories. Um, ghosts, uh, one of their origins that they think comes from is from Mexico, the day of the dead, because the spirits are walking around in the afterlife. The problem is with these myths and finding out where they start, it's because they, the myths travel around and it's really hard to find out where exactly it came from because a lot of these myths are really old. In fact, the, these myths have traveled out through 3,000 generations, which is about 60,000 years. We can thank religion for that because these stories were um, preserved due to... Um, the rituals that are being told from person to person and they worship it. Uh, talking about stories, stories can also create it. The creativeness of Homer, um, who created the Odyssey, created the um, the Cyclops, the Hydra, and a lot of other mythologi mythological creatures. They, um, they're really famous creatures that are in a lot of movies now that are referenced and we all know about it because it was such a famous piece of literature and they used also uh, Greek mythology in it too. Um, Grimm Brothers is another famous storyteller, story creator, myth creator. Um, Hansel, Gretel, Cinderella, and Snow White all came from this writer. And that led to the question of what is the purpose of these myths and legends? Myths are really important to society. These stories, they came from our ancestors, our religion, our history, and our culture. It's what makes the human race so unique. It adds companionship and helps the people understand each other by bringing them together with stories to share for generations. These stories, they create role models and, for, and they set examples for how we should act and they, they created our morals. We also use myths to create conspiracies and explain strange happenings that we have yet to understand. Um, so now to the fun part, the fun myths around the world. Um, Greece, Greek mythology is a famous one. Um, the gods of Greek like Zeus, Athena, and Ars are present in everyday society and allusion to in places and they create the stories from greek mythology it is in pandora starbucks in a lot of sports and all of the and names for stars and planets that are huge um 
they use Greek mythology, but for the planets, I think they use uh, Roman mythology. Um, these also are used in many famous books, movies, and stories like Percy Jackson, The Grave Red Book, and even the famous Harry Potter. Um, Grimm Brothers is also another famous one. They create the, the Grimm Brothers, the two brothers, they created famous European myths like Hansel, Gretel, Snow White, and Cinderella. These stories were really gruesome. And for example, Cinderella, uh, the two stepsisters, cut off their toes to fit in the boot, which they did not get the slipper in the first place. Um, I'm gonna show. Another one that I like is the Snow Queen. It is from Denmark, and Frozen was actually based off the story, hence the name Hans Christian Andersen. Anna. Um, so, the, this, the entire story centers around the struggle between good and evil as experienced by Gerda and her friend Kai, which is basically Elsa and her sister Anna, and they're struggling between her fear and her um, being honest with herself. So, um, that was really important, and I thought it was just really cool. Um, I will put the presentation that I made in the thing because I couldn't figure out how to print the thing because our printer was misbehaving and also ran out of paper. So, goodbye.